Conditions are the building block of code, but as we add more of them, they can turn our code into a tangled mess if we don't write them correctly. In this video, I'll show you how to make your if statements cleaner and make your code more readable and maintainable using something called guard clauses. Let's get started. For this video, we're going to look at the update method of this example player script. The logic is fairly simple. If the player has pressed the left mouse button and they aren't sprinting or blocking, then they attack. If they are sprinting or blocking, then we display a relevant hint text on screen. Despite how simple the logic is, the structure of the code is making it more difficult to read than it has to be. We have a number of nested if statements, which is adding unnecessary indentations and white space, making the code take up more screen space than it needs to. This means that eyes need to scan back and forth to properly understand the flow of the code. This also makes the code hard to maintain and add new features to. Suppose we want to add a new condition, like preventing the player from attacking if they are jumping, like this. We've ended up with more indentations and it makes it even hard to read and understand. Ideally, we want to separate the conditions from the actions in our code so we can read and reason about them separately. As developers, we can only hold so much information in our head at once, so we need to keep focused only on the relevant parts of the code. For example, if you're fixing a bug with your attack method, you shouldn't need to read through all these conditions first. So let's take a look at the code and see how we can fix this. In the update method, if the left mouse button is pressed, we do further checks and try to attack. But what do we do if the mouse button isn't pressed? Well, we do nothing. We just return from the method. So why don't we just invert this if statement, if not input.getMouseDown, return. Now we can take the code that was originally in this if block, move it out and remove the indentation. The if statement we have now is what we call a guard clause. Rather than having your conditions integrate with your code, a guard clause inverts your conditions and moves them to the top of the method and returns as soon as possible. This helps to remove indentations and separates our conditions and actions. Let's repeat this for the is sprinting check. In this case, if the player is not sprinting, then we do our further checks. Otherwise, we set the hint text and do nothing else. So let's invert it. If is sprinting, hint text or set text, and return. Now we can move this code and the indentations. I skipped ahead to the same for is blocking and is jumping, and now you can see our code has less indentations and is much easier to read. More importantly, the conditions and actions are clearly separated. We can just quickly scan over our conditions at the top of the method view our actions at the bottom. Now, to test our maintainability, let's try out a new condition to stop the player from attacking if they have no stamina. It's quite simple. We just add a new guard clause, checking if not has stamina, then call hintextui.setText and return. It's now much simpler to change this code and it remains just as readable as it was before. And that's how a guard clause can make your code more readable and maintainable. Let me know in the comments below if you've used guard clauses before in your Unity games. And as always, if you found this helpful, check out the other videos on screen, leave a like and subscribe for more.